Hey folks, uh, Mr. MathBlog here, and this lesson is on multiplying a fraction or a mixed number by a whole number. We're going to do both, okay? So uh, this is lesson 8.4, and our common core is, is pretty much the same here, but uh, we're going to, how can we multiply uh, a fraction or a mixed number by a whole number to solve problems? So we're going to do a couple of ways here. Uh, I'm going to show you um, uh, some old uh, knowledge here. So we're going to access our prior knowledge here. How can we write uh, the mixed numbers as fractions? I'm going to show you a few ways here. So one way is to recognize this, this 1 and 1 fourth is the same as 1 plus 1 fourth. And I'm going to change this 1 with uh, 4 fourths right there because uh, anything over itself equals 1. Remember that right there. So, so instead of having 1 plus 1 fourth, it's now 4 fourths plus 1 fourth. And now I can go ahead and add those. And 4 fourths plus 1 fourths, you add the numerators and you get 5 fourths. Okay, I'm going to do the same with this one right here. And this 3, I'm going to write it as 5 fifths three times. So 5 fifths plus 5 fifths plus 5 fifths is my 3 right there, plus 2 fifths. Okay, and then we can go ahead and add 5 plus 5 is 10, plus 5 more is 15, plus 2 more is going to get me 17 fifths. Okay, all right, so uh, there's a trick on this, you guys. We can go ahead and um, uh, you can multiply the denominator. Uh, with the whole number. So if I multiplied, say, th this one right here, this denominator right here, 5, with this whole number here, 3, okay, and then we add uh, that product. So 5 times 3 is 15. I'm going to add that product with the numerator, which is uh, 5, 15 plus 2 is 17. That'll be my new numerator, which would be 17 fifths, okay? So I did 5 times 3 is 15, plus 2 is 17. That's where I got the 17 fifths. Do you remember that? I mentioned that in one of the other videos also. Let's try that with this one right here, you guys. So I'm going to multiply 4 times 9 is, is 36, and then 36 plus 2 is going to get me uh, 38 right there, okay? So I did, um, uh, well, 9 times 4 is 36, and then I added 36 plus 2, so I get 38 ninths on that, okay? Easy enough. All right, so here we go. Let's see. Uh, Carter is planning a judo routine. At the end of each cycle, he will make one and one-fourth turns. How many turns will he make after three cycles? Okay, let's let's answer a couple of questions. So, will Carter make more or less than one and one quarter turns in the three cycles? Well, I think that's pretty easy to see, you guys. Since we're doing uh, one and a quarter turns, one and one fourth turns for each cycle, and he's going to do three of them, well, he's definitely going to do more than that. And so, what operation are we going to use? Well, we can either use addition or multiplication. I'm going to choose multiplication with this one, okay? So here we go. So we're going to multiply 3 times 1 and 1 fourth. So I'm going to change 1 and 1 fourth to an improper fraction right here. Okay, so that becomes 5 fourths right there. And then we're going to go ahead and multiply. Remember uh, from the last lesson, we just multiply the whole number times the numerator. So 3 times 5 is 15. It becomes 15 fourths. Okay, now let's write that as a mixed number again. So I'm going to change 15 fourths to, okay, here's the long way to do it, you guys. 15 fourths is, here's my 15 one fourth fourths when I add them all together. So four of them, and I, I, I these ones in black right here, here's four of them. This equals one, okay? And then four more is going to equal another one. And then four more is going to equal another one. And then we have the leftover, three of them. So the leftover is three fourths right there. Okay, so one plus one plus one is going to get me three plus this three fourths right here is three and three fourths. Okay, so Carter will make three and three-fourths turns after the three cycles. All right, so explain uh, how, uh, how writing the mixed number as a fraction in this step is related to division. Okay, so you can divide to find the number of equal groups. So since we're talking about fourth, if each group contains four fourth-sized parts, then if we take uh, 15 right here, this top number, and divide it by four, we get three with the remainder of three left over. Okay, so that tells you that there's going to be three equal groups of fourth size parts with three fourths of the size left over. This is what I like to do, you guys, is I divide the bottom number into the top number. Four goes into 15 three times with three left over. So it goes in there three times with this three left over. So it's three and three fourths, okay? All right, so if you multiply three times one fourth, is that product greater than or less than three? Well, since one fourth, you guys, is less than one, then three groups of one fourth will be less than three groups of one, and three groups of one equals three. So I know that three times one fourth will be less than three that way. 
Okay, how can you tell that three times uh, one and one fourth is greater than three without finding the exact product? Well, kind of like above here, since this is greater than one, then three times this is going to be greater than three. Okay, so I said something like that. So since we know that one and one fourth is greater than one, then three times one and one fourth must be greater than three times one. Okay, so here we're going to uh, rename uh, mixed numbers and fractions. So uh, we'll use multiplication and division to uh, rename fractions and mixed numbers. So for an example, let's let's write eight and one fifth as a fraction. Okay, so I saw it uh, directed in in a book like this, you guys. So now we can go ahead and multiply. I, I like doing the fast way. I'll do that at the end right here. So um, uh, remember, eight and one fifth is the same as eight plus one fifth. Okay, so it's going to be 8 times, and I'm going to change 8 times. Uh, uh, it, this says use the identity property of multiplication. The identity property of multiplication just means you can multiply anything times 1, and that will still equal that number. So 8 times 1 would still equal 8. Okay, and then I'm going to rename 1 in terms of fifths. So I'm going to change this to 5 fifths right here, so that 1 is going to become 5 fifths. Okay, and then when I multiply this uh, whole number times this fraction, I just multiply 8 times 5, that's going to get me 40 fifths, okay? Plus that 1 fifth right there, and then we can go ahead and add 40 plus 1 is 41 fifths. Okay, now, remember the old school way, or the faster way, I think, you guys, I like this way the best. 5 times 8 is 40, 40 plus 1 is 41, so that's where we can get 41 uh, fifths right there, okay? This way is my favorite right there, by the way. Okay, but your book might have you do the other way. Okay, write uh, 32 fifths as a mixed number. Okay, so we're going to find out how many groups of 5 fifths are in 32 fifths. So we're going to divide 32 divided by 5. Okay, so here we go, 32 divided by 5. We're going to have a remainder here. Okay, so we're going to find out how many times does 5 go into 32. Well, 30, or 5 times 6 equals 30, so I'm going to put a 6 up there and put a 30 down there. Okay, and then I'm going to subtract and get a remainder of 2, and that's what's going to go right here. Okay, and then how I like to write this is, is I go, I start at the top and go 6 and 2 fifths. Okay, so the answer is going to be, um, uh, there are 6 groups of 5 fifths, or 6 holes, and there's 2 fifths left over, so it's going to be uh, 6 and 2 fifths right there. Okay, I just like to think of this. You know, you don't even need to write with the remainder right there. I start at the top, six and two fifths. That's how I like to think of this right there. Go clockwise. All right, so find two times three and three fourths. Write the product as a mixed number. Okay, so what I'm going to do is is change uh, uh, three and three fourths uh, to a fraction. So I'm going to go four times three is twelve. 12 plus 3 is 15, so this equals 15 fourths. So that's what I'm going to put right there. Okay? All right, and then I'm going to go ahead and multiply, um, uh, going to multiply 2 times 15, and that's going to be all over 4. Okay? So I multiply the whole number times the numerator. 2 times 15 is 30, so I get 30 over 4. All right, now we're going to divide the numerator divided by this 4 right there. So 4 goes into 30 7 times. And it gives me 4 times 7 is 28, so there'll be 2 left over. So it's going to be 7 and 2 fourths, okay? So it's how many times does the bottom number go into the top number? And it goes in there 7 times. 4 times 7 is 28, and there's going to be 2 left over, okay? So there's um, uh, I can divide it in there 7 times with 2 left over. All right, so explain why our solution uh, to, to 2 times 3 and 3 fourths is a reasonable answer. Okay, okay remember, uh, 2 times 3 and 3 fourths is 7 and 2 fourths right here. Well, it's a reasonable answer because um, since 3 and 3 fourths is greater than 3, and I know that 2 times 3 equals 6, then 2 times 3 and 3 fourths is going to be greater than 6. And since 7 and 2 fourths is greater than 6, our, my, our solution is going to be a reasonable solution because it's a little bit greater than 6. Okay? All right, so uh, is this, does this make sense or does it make nonsense? Uh, so to find 2 times 3 and 3 fourths, Paige uh, says she can find 2 times 3 uh, plus 2 times 3 fourths. And so does this make sense and explain? Well, I'm going to agree with Paige, you guys, because um, uh, I think Paige is on a, on a good track right here because she's thinking that 3 and 3 fourths is the same as 3 plus 3 fourths. And then so if I multiply 2 times 3 fourths, it's the same as 2 times 3 plus 3 fourths. And then you can use the distributive property and do 2 times 3, that's what this says, 
plus 2 times 3 fourths. That's what this says right here. So we used, uh, our page used a distributive property with that. Okay, so 2 times 3 plus 2 times 3 fourths is the same as 2 times 3 plus 3 fourths right there. So nice work, Paige. All right, so she would have got uh, the same answer, 7 and, and 2 fourths the same way because 2 times 3 is 6, okay? And then 2 times 3 fourths, I multiply this 2 times the top number right here times the numerator. 2 times 3 is 6, 6 fourths. And 6 fourths reduces 4 goes into 6 one time with 2 left over. So 1 and 2 fourths. So 6 plus 1 and 2 fourths is 7 and 2 fourths. Alrighty, okay, don't forget to, if you have your own YouTube account and you're watching this at home, please like and subscribe and take care, everybody.